Hello my dear friends today we are going to discuss about microwave oven like how microwave ovens work and what is the principle behind it Now my dear friends the invention of the microwave is a fantastically simple con concept you know microwaves they have a frequency and they can penetrate to molecules right so let us now see that what is the actual principle behind it yes microwaves have a frequency that can penetrate water fat sugar molecules etc and they excite them now for a molecule to be excited the electrons revolving around the nucleus in the fixed orbits have to jump to higher energy levels because they are at the lower energy levels at first and when the molecules are excited they jump to higher energy levels so when they jump to higher energy levels what happens the atom starts to vibrate faster than the normal speed and when this happens in some glass of water then what will what will be the result let's see yes when this happens in a glass of water all the atoms start moving haphazardly and they collide with each other thus creating friction so when friction is created basically energy is given off in the form of heat so here what we are talking about is the molecules which get excited and they jump to the higher levels and finally they create friction and they give the energy in the form of heat and that's what the main principle is working behind the microwave oven so my friends if microwaves can excite the molecules in a substance and create heat why not use them to cook food right and that is how a microwave works there is a device inside the oven and we will surely discuss about its working too but before discussing about its working i would like to share something with you all that the microwave radiations usually are emitted by some substance and the polarized molecules such as oil water fat etc within the respective food stuff are excited to produce heat so the uniform excitation leads to simultaneous and complete heating of the food stuff and heating food quickly and efficiently has been epitomized by microwaves so this is the art of food preparation and it has been revolutionized by microwave ovens since their inception into the market in 1970s so how amazing it is right such a beautiful device was invented in 1970s it was first introduced to the world by percy spencer who was the scientist it was percy spencer so it was first introduced by the scientist while in the midst of the building magnetrons for radar sets and microwave ovens have since then taken the world by storm so the microwave oven cooked its first food as popcorn and later came the egg now there is a company called Raytheon the company for which Spencer had been working on with the radar sets and had discovered the microwave phenomenon filed a patent on 8th October 1945 So how amazing it is they came out with the first official microwave oven the red orange what it was named as was red orange now you might be familiar with this term and if not not a problem right because of the thing that the company had been working with the radar sets it was named as red arrange now it was huge consuming almost 3000 watts and weighing almost 340 kg and later on commercial models were introduced that consumed about 1600 watts and they sold for around $2000 to $3000 oh that is too costly but nowadays the company new uh, many such companies are coming with the new models right and it is now not too costly so it can be used and it can be affordable by many people as well so now let us move on to our next session that is the working of microwave oven 
Yes, my dear friends, there is a device inside the oven that is the source of the microwave radiation called magnetron. What it is called? Magnetron. So basically the working take place with the help of this radiation called magnet magnetron. Now the waves here then travel to the oven cavity through the wave guide and stutter. Now let us see what is actually the wave guide and stutter. Yes, I have presented a picture. It shows the stutter and wave guide too. This one. So basically, the waves travel to the oven cavity. This is the oven cavity. The cooking cavity is the oven cavity. And it travels through the wave guide. Now this is the wave guide from where the waves passes. And the stutter, stutter it will stir the waves over here and then it will let off the heat pass onto the oven cavity to heat the food. So basically the waves penetrate the food and they excite the molecules and this is why the food heats from the inside out and because the waves are literally creating heat on the atomic level of the food it which in turn cooks the item inside out. So basically whatever food we will keep on the turntable. Why it is called a turntable? Because the table inside it, the uh, inside the cooking cavity, it turns on. Right? So this is the power through which we will switch on. And the magnetron plays a very important role over here. It is the source of the microwave radiation. And this will provide with the waves through the wave guide. The starter will store the waves over here and then the heat will be passed on to the cooking cavity or the oven cavity and finally what happens now the food is cooked so what if a microwave cooks from the inside out how come sometimes our food is cold in the middle now this is the question to be thought of now this is because when sometimes you heat the food you keep the food inside the oven cavity Sometimes there is uh, the food remains cold in the middle. This is because it depends upon the quantity of food we want to heat up. Now the microwaves cannot penetrate completely to the center. For example, if we take a bar a bar of corn, let's say if we heat the corn up to for three minutes, but it's still cold in the center. So if we take it out and stir it, allowing the cold corn to get on the top, the microwaves will be able to penetrate the atoms and excite them and it will create heat. So how come if we warm up a piece of pizza in the microwave for a longer than necessary period of time only some parts of the pizza burn? This is because of the something this is something because of the hot spots. Now what is meant by hot spots? Let us see. Yes my dear friends, what are hot spots? Now here Hotspots form because a microwave is sinusoidal. Now what does sinusoidal mean here? It means having a succession of waves or curves. Let me show you a picture. Yes, this is the beautiful picture which shows that the microwave, it has hotspots. Hotspots form because a microwave is sinusoidal because it has having a, uh, it is having a succession of waves or curves. So it has peaks and valleys. You can see here these are the peaks and these are the valleys. Right? Now here because of this the microwaves cannot excite all of the atoms at once. So the results are hot and cold spots in the microwave. And so this picture shows that how microwaves look in a microwave after they have reflected off the oven walls for a period of time. So the peaks and the valleys represent the hot spots. These are the hot spots, the peak and the valleys. Right? And the flat areas, these are the flat areas. They represent the cold spots. Right, so this occurs because the peaks and valleys they have a stronger intensity and they excite the atoms more quickly than the flat spots. 
right so that was all about the hotspots all right my dear friends that was all about the working of a microwave oven i hope you enjoyed this session and learned about microwave oven right so we'll meet in the next session with a new topic till then enjoy have a nice time